Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Today we are going back into the kitchen to do what I do, cooking for people who can't cook, like me. And today we are going to make chicken cordon bleu. And <clears throat> this is real easy to do. It seems complicated. The end product looks kind of complicated. It's not. It takes about 15 minutes prep, very few ingredients, and about 30 minutes to cook. So it's an easy, quick, yummy dinner. We are also going to make a homemade dipping sauce for it, which is really good. So take a look. Starting with the ingredients. For the chicken portion, you're going to need boneless chicken breasts, some thin sliced ham, thin sliced Swiss cheese, some panko or breadcrumbs, six tablespoons of butter, and some salt and black pepper. For the dipping sauce portion, half a cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon Dijon mustard, one tablespoon yellow mustard, three tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, an eighth teaspoon of garlic powder, an eighth teaspoon of salt, and five shakes of pepper. Now, we will start out by washing the chicken, and I get thin sliced chicken breasts so that you don't have to cut them in half. If you get full sized chicken breasts, you're gonna have to cut them in half so they're thin in order to be able to roll them up. Then you take your clean chicken, put it on a piece of plastic wrap, just like this, and then you're gonna add some of your ham to it. We're using Hillshire Farm honey ham that is sliced ultra thin, and thin is the key here. Uh, you're gonna put some ham on there, as much as you like. We use a couple of pieces. You may wanna use three or four pieces. And then after that, you're gonna take some cheese. We're using Sargento Ultra Thin Sliced Swiss Cheese. You can use other cheeses if you like. We've made it with you know pepper jack and hot pepper cheese as well. Um, but you're gonna put a couple slices of cheese on there, and these need to be thin also, because you're gonna see here in a second, if you don't use stuff that's thin, you're gonna have an issue with this step which is rolling all of that up into a little roll. So you're gonna roll the chicken, ham, and cheese all together, and then you're gonna roll it in the plastic wrap. And the reason you're gonna do this is it's gonna hold the chicken roll in place. So when you get it all rolled up and kinda tootsie roll, twist tied at the end, you're gonna have a bunch of these little chicken packets. Stick them back in the refrigerator for a half hour minimum. You can do this the night before, leave them in overnight. The reason for this is that the cold will make the chicken hold that roll so it doesn't fall apart when you cook it. Now, you're gonna take your panko or bread crumbs. Some people use cornflakes. We like panko because um, it's really easy to deal with. Take the, the breadcrumbs and scatter them on a plate like this so you've got a nice little layer. Then you're gonna take your butter, put it in a little medium dish, stick that in the microwave and completely melt it. Now, when your chicken is done half hour later or, or however long you've had it sit there, notice how the chicken retains its form and does not unroll. You're gonna take some pepper, sprinkle some pepper on there, also take some salt, sprinkle the salt on there, get your melted butter out of the microwave, which is right there. And then you're gonna take your roll of chicken, drop it down in the butter, get it nice and coated in that butter. And then you're gonna dip this chicken into the panko and roll it around in the breadcrumbs, get a nice good coating. You can use your hands if you want. Um, just get it patted on there really good. And then you're gonna put it on a lightly greased baking sheet so that you have all of your rolled up chicken just like that. Then you're gonna set your oven to 400 degrees, stick it on the middle rack and put it in for 30 minutes. While that's cooking, get out all of your ingredients for the honey mustard dipping sauce. This is super easy. You're gonna take all those ingredients and put them in a medium bowl like this. Take the mayonnaise, put it in there. Take the Dijon mustard, put that in there. Take the yellow mustard, put that in there. Take your honey, remember three tablespoons of this. We put it in a tablespoon at a time. Also, your apple cider vinegar goes in there, onion powder, and then your salt, and 
five shakes of pepper, like that. Then you're gonna mix it all together until you get a nice, smooth consistency of this um, honey mustard dressing or dipping sauce. Then, after 30 minutes, you're gonna take the chicken out of the oven and it looks like this. It is lightly browned and cooked through. Cheese is gonna melt out of it just a little bit and you're ready to plate it. We fix some green beans with ours. You could do any type of side items you want, but this is what it looks like. It's really good. That uh, honey mustard homemade dipping sauce is awesome. And it's a good, hearty, tasty meal that is quick and easy to fix. There you go. Simple and easy chicken cordon bleu with a homemade honey mustard dipping sauce. Really, really good. You can put any kind of sides you want with it. Quick and easy, right? So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.